students uh, let us we move on to next uh, btu question paper problem this is also associated with module number 1 so 2 kN force Two kilonewton force is the resultant of a is the resultant of a system of forces. System of forces acting along positive y-axis. acting along positive y axis acting along positive y axis as shown in figure as shown in figure determine the value of f and theta value of f and theta determine the value of f and theta this is y axis x axis and this diagram is given in question paper f theta more force is 5 kN Here one more force is 2.4 kN and the inclination angle is 40 degree. Inclination angle is 40 degree. It's also a very important question. And this is conditional oriented problem. See, 2 kN force is the resultant force. R is given. R equals 2 kN force. R equals 2 kN force. And the system of forces acting along vertical positive axis which means sigma f y equals r which means sigma f y equals r sigma f x equals 0 this is the condition why because forces acting along y axis all forces acting along y axis because forces acting along y axis forces acting along y axis therefore sigma f y equal r sigma f x equal 0 but r value is given 2 kN is the resultant force so now write the free body diagram the free body diagram is given by so here f theta here 5 kN and also one more force is this this is x axis so this is 40 degree. So now you resolve this in two values. Resolve this in two values. Force is with respect to joint acting away, away, away. With respect to joint acting away, away. And this force is 2.4 kN. Therefore this is 2.4 cos 40 and this is 2.4 sin 40 and this is f cos theta and f sin theta f cos theta and f sin theta this resolving whatever the inclination component is cos theta remaining one is sin theta so this is free body diagram now apply the condition what is the first condition sigma f y equal r the first condition is sigma f y equal r which is 2 kilo newton resultant is 2 kN. What is sigma fy? Summation of all vertical forces. How many vertical forces? 1, 2. So f sin theta, f sin theta minus 2.4 sin 40 equals 2. What is f sin theta? f sin theta equals 2 plus 2.4 sin 40. Therefore, f sin theta equals how much? 3.54 3.54 same equation number 1 equation number 1 next up the second condition what is second condition sigma fx equal 0 sigma fx equal 0 
summation of all horizontal forces equal zero summation of all horizontal forces equal zero this is 3.54 right yes okay for this sign convention is right side positive and left side negative for this sign convention is upward forces positive downward forces negative how many horizontal forces 1 2 3 therefore f cos theta f cos theta minus 5 plus 2.4 cos 40 equals 0 we are getting f cos theta equals 5 minus 2.4 cos 40 how much f cos theta 3.16 3.16 say equation number 2 Equation number two. Now do equation one divided by equation two. That is sine theta by cos theta, tan theta. Therefore, f sine theta divided by f cos theta, which is equals three point five four divided by three point one six. So tan theta equals. One, How much? One point one two. One point one two theta equals. tan inverse 1.12 which is how much 48.26 48.26 degree 48.26 degree now substitute in equation number 1 always it's a domain for numerator sin sin function substitute to sin function therefore from equation 1 f equals 3.54 divided by sin theta Theta value is forty-eight point two six. F equal three point five four divided by sine forty-eight point two six. What is F value? Four point seven five kilonewton. Four point seven five kilonewton. This is unknown force F, yes. and this is its inclination theta. So this is condition-oriented problem for a math problem. Very simple problem. As per the video examination previous year. It's very simple one. Absurd the problem. Impose the condition. Two kilonewton is the resultant force. R is two kilonewton. System of forces acting along y-axis. Therefore, condition is sigma f y equal r. Sigma f x equal zero. Write the free body diagram. Apply the whatever the condition. Sigma f x equal r. You are getting one equation. Next, apply another condition. Sigma f x equal zero. You are getting another equation. Equation solve the equation one by two you are getting theta value substitute the theta value to sine function you are getting f value so this concludes this particular problem thank you.